riff starts on the G note of the big E string. So three, 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 one, three, three, one, down here in the fifth string. So that's a B flat note down there. So we're in the G minor type of pentatonic type of scale right here for this riff. Da -dum -dum -da -dum. So we got two parts to that one. So three, four. We got a new riff. We're gonna go down here on the D string. Two, three, four, five. Chromatic riff. Each finger doing its own fret. Two, three, four, five. And once we get to that five, we're kind of now in the notes of a G minor pentatonic kind of a scale. Three, five, five, three, five, three, five, three. We got that little extra thing. We're gonna slide up here to the seven. So let's do all that. Now we're gonna have this little phrase here. So that was G string, six to five pull off. And then D string, eight, five, eight, five. So all together we got. slower so two three and four and okay I'm gonna play that last two three four five a little faster now Okay, now we got a new part. This is gonna start a little solo here. We're gonna do a quick hammer on five to six on the small E string. Give that a little vibrato. Hold that for a second, so. So that's the whole phrase. So we got quick hammer on there, five to six. And that's six to eight hammer on, back to the six. Now we're gonna take that middle finger and we're gonna slide back down to get back into that lower G minor pentatonic. So we got. So we're gonna do a pull, slide and a pull off on that one. So. And you go quickly that pull off all the way to that lower note there on that fifth fret of the D string. So that's three on the G. Five to three pull off. So here we had a five to seven on the G. To the six there. And these are all notes from the G minor pentatonic scale. We're just up in that second position right now. So we got. So that last thing we did a slide down and a pull off and end on that G note. So from the two, three, four, five.
Okay, now we're gonna look at the next part. This one's gonna start on the A, two, three, four, five of the G string this time. Two, three, four, five, and then four, five, six, four, five, four. So it's the same kind of sound as that other one, but on these different strings, so it makes a different looking shape, you know. Two, three, four, five, four, five, six, four, five, four. So that's just kind of a blues thing. I'm gonna bend that six. Come down with a bend, pull off, and end with the four to five. So. Okay, so then our next one is gonna have the same type of sound but with different notes. Okay, so let's do the, the G string, two, three, four, five, into that next riff. Okay, then we're gonna have a new part up here, 11th fret of the B string. So that's gonna be using the 11 and the 10 and the 12 over here in the G string. Pretty easy to see there. Now this next part comes in with a harmony the second time. We're going to start in the 12th fret of the G string. So it's a little harmony of that higher thing. Kind of, if you did it together, sometimes like live and it's just me, I'll be like. Just kind of mix them together, you know. And then at that point in the song, we're back to the main riff. And then we get into a G minor. You could call it G power chords. But what I'll end up doing also, besides just these power chords, G5 and C5, I'll get into like G minor 7, down to C major, and it's a Dorian progression really, so you can get in like different types of G minor 7s, you can get into like C7, different C7 shapes, so there's a lot you can do with that. And then obviously this is a Dorian mode lesson too, so let's look at that Dorian scale. So this is the minor scale that has a higher six note, a six note from a major scale. So it's not like this dark, super dark minor. It's like this, a little bit lighter sounding kind of minor scale. More of like a Santana Oye Como Va than like a BB King Thrill Is Gone type thing. That's how I kind of look at it. So anyway, let's look at the scale here. We got three, five, six, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, five, Three five six three five six. So that's the second position of the major scales in the way that most people teach them. So that is the Dorian mode. So think about this: when you're, you could solo, you could play the minor pentatonic in that. You could play the minor pentatonic with that little flat fifth in there. So you can play all those scales in there. You can do the whole mode there when you want. But if you can do that modal thing, it's good to know that, look at some of these notes here, like say this, um, this five right here. That is in the C chords. That's a C note. But that is not in the G minor or the, the G minor or the G minor seven. So this is a good note to use because it is a C when you're on that chord. So it'd be like, this is a G note to start you out. So, um, so if I hit that one, that C chord's hitting like G to the C. So to see where the G note is and the C note is, that can help you play off those two chords. That gets you started a little bit. Then there's other notes, like there's this note. Well, if I was doing this, look at that minor pentatonic scale. See, it has that six right there. Well, this chord has a five in it. 
So if I use that five in there, it's kind of like that Santana. So he drops that note when that chord is in there. That's a little bit about playing over changes and stuff. So that's definitely something you can do in this song that makes this song fun and you can make it different each time. I've been playing this song a long time and one of the fun things is to see what everybody's gonna do when it comes to their solo over that G minor seven to C seven type thing. How about you take a little turn on that? Go ahead and solo over that. to the 7 chord of the C. So just that one little change of a note there. So it's like 5, 3, 6, 6 to 5, 3, 5, 6. See, that outlines a C7 chord, where the other one outlined a G minor 7 chord. So you can have a lot of fun with that. Now here's the next thing. We're going to have this walk up on this bass note. Okay, so what that is is G, go one, two, three, down to the C note down there. So we got like a little pickup thing there. And oh, one, two, three, three, oh, one, two, three, three, oh, one, two, three, three. Oh, one, two, three, three. So practice that a little bit. Three and four and. something to that. So that was two, three, four, five, five, three. So let's see how that works in context one more time. So once you do that five, five, three, you're back to the oh, one, two, three, and you catch up on that first end. Let's try that all again. Three and four and. Two, three, four, five, five, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, now over that, we have all these other notes that pop in. So we have three different parts that are happening there. Some are keys or guitar and saxophones, all kind of different things on that recording. The first one is going to start with... So that's on the D string, fifth fret. Five, seven, eight, five, seven, five, six, five, down to that fifth fret of the G string. Now the next one's gonna start on this eighth fret of the D string. So that's the eight, the D, five, seven, five, six, eight, five, eight. Okay, so the first one. Next one starts on the eight. Third one starts on this seven right here, this D note. So seven, five, six, eight, five, six, eight, six, eight. So we gotta see all those now. Now here's the fourth one, starting on the F, 10th fret of the G string. 
So that's 10, and then 8, 10, 11, 8, 10, 12, back to 10. Okay, then here's the part that comes right after that. Okay, so we got 9, 8, 9 on the G string, to the 7 here on the B string, 8, 7, 8, 10, then we're going to go to 11 here, so we got Then we're gonna to go to the 12 because we were using an E in this mode here with this scale. So that ends with 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 9, 9, 8. Okay, then we got a part down here. Sets of three notes. So that's two, three, 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 five, 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 seven, six, seven, nine, eight, nine, ten, 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 twelve, eleven, and then a phrase at the end. So that was twelve, fourteen, fifteen on the G, to the fifteen on the B. And then the 13 to the 17 on the little E string. So the whole phrase is. Okay, now here's the second part. Starts on the 8 one. So this is like, this was the lower one that began the first part. This is the higher, the third of that, the minor third in this case that will begin the harmony of the second part. So it's gonna go. So eight, five, seven, five, six, eight, five, eight to five here. Okay, then the next one is gonna start on this seven here. So seven and five, six, eight. Five, six, eight, six. So we got. Now we're gonna start on this ten here, on the third string. We're gonna end on the eleven on the second string, and it ends with ten to eleven. So here's that last one: ten, eleven, thirteen. 10, 12, 13, 15, 13. So that was all four of them. So three and four and. Four and. Now this new riff for this part is 12, 12, 11, 12. And then we have this little part. So that's an interesting one. You get 12, 13, 11. So bam, bam, bam. Comes down to the 10, 11, 12, to the 11. So that was. One more time. Now the lower part starts on the five, seven, six here, but it uses the same sets of notes because we're in the same scale and mode and everything. So five, seven, six, and then seven, nine, eight, and then nine, ten, ten, and then ten, twelve, eleven, and then. 12, 14, 13, and then 
14, 15, 15. And then we have our phrase here at the end. So that was 15 and 17, 15 and 18, and then 17 and 20. So all together that would be. So one more time, nice and slow. So starting on the five. Then there's a third part for this too. So let's start on the five on here in this D note. So let's see how that goes. Then we're gonna jump to the 10. We'll end on that lower 10. And then we're going to come up here. So 10, 11, 13, 10, 12, 13, 15, 13, 15. And then we're going to have up here starting on this C note, 17th fret of the G string. So it's 17, 15, 17, 18. 15, 17, 20, 18. So let's look at all those notes starting again. Now this one's going to start here. So it's all in harmony with those other two. So starting on the 17. So we're using that E there. B, we're using a B natural. Okay, so all kind of normal stuff. Then we're gonna go 17th fret, small string. It's a little bit weird there. 17, 18, 18, 17, 18, 20, and then 17, 17, and back. So. Okay, so it gives you all three of those cool harmony parts. Okay, moving on, our next riff in this song is... Okay, so one, three, three, three. That was one, three, one, three, three, one. And then you go. So five, 
five, three, three, five. So the same type of thing there. Five, three, three, five. And then you got. So five, three, seven, five, and then six, eight on the B string. And then you get this five, three, five octave. I go, I go up first when I do it, and then low. But I think Edgar Winter goes down first. You do it like twice, and then you got these bends here. So this is gonna be an eighth fret bending, a unison bend. That's when you bend that tenth low, tenth fret lower note, that F up to a G. So they end up meeting up there. So you got the 8th fret basically is our G, and then the A on the 10th, B flat on the 11th. Now here I switch down to this lower string, the C on the 8th to the 11th fret with it. And then the 10th fret with the 13th, 12th fret, 13th, 15th. And the very last thing you do is a little hammer on, onto that B flat note from the A. So all together. Eighth fret. And you could bend those twice if you wanted to fill that space. Alright, and that starts the drum solo, so that's going to be the end of part one for right now. So I'm going to come back to you real soon with part two. So we're going to start out with this riff, 3 and 6, doing a trill, then 5 and 8, then 6 and 10, then 8 and 12. So let's look at those four again. So we've got 3 and 6, 5 and 8, 6 and 10, 8 and 12, 10 and 13, 12 and 15, 13 and 17, and 15 and 18. Then we're going to start this little riff. So that's four sets of threes there, so we do double pull-offs from the 18 to 17 to 15. Then we're jumping up here to the 20, 18, and 17. And then back. Now we're going lower to the 17, 15, and 13. So let's look at all those again. So we start kind of middle, we go up, we come down, we go low. Now we're going to jump all the way to the 22nd fret, 22, 20, and 18. So there we do, do two sets of each, so. So let's look at all what we got right there. Okay, then we got this part. We got a one and three trill down here. Three and five, five and six, six and eight, eight and ten, ten and twelve, twelve and thirteen, thirteen, fifteen, 
15, 17, 17, 18, 18, 20, 20, and 22. And you hit that one at the end, so you got. All right, and then you got some. I make some crazy noise and stuff. I'll go into like. Just some silly stuff. And then when you come back, the drums bring you back in and you're back into your riff. Just your two, four, two, three, four, five. Let me do it again this time. So three of that riff where you where you bend the five up, and then you got a B flat chord, and a C chord. And then you're back to like your G minor to finish it off. I like to go like a. Something like that. And I can improvise the end. Okay, so that was Frankenstein. Hope you dug that.